The future of California's gig economy is on the line as people fill out their ballots. Companies such as Uber, Lyft, DoorDash are trying to slam the brakes on a new state law requiring them to reclassify their independent drivers as benefit eligible employees. Opponents of that push staged a no on 22 rally in front of Uber headquarters in San Francisco today. In our continuing Vote Smart series, KPI X5 reporter Devin Feely delves into both sides of that debate. Millions of dollars are pouring into the battle over Prop 22 with big companies like Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash each chipping in tens of millions of dollars to help define California's gig economy. Basically, who's considered an employee versus an independent contractor? Threatening to shut down rideshare and food delivery services. Tech companies have spent nearly $200 million flooding the airways with ads like this. Proposition 22 will protect drivers. Extolling the freedom and the flexibility of working in the gig economy. I'm doing DoorDash to supplement my income while I am in between jobs. Dave Lewis has been driving for DoorDash off and on for years. He says he likes being an independent contractor, making his own schedule and determining when and how much he works. And he fears what might happen if Prop 22 fails and he's forced to become a conventional employee. Enables me to get off work and put in a couple extra hours doing an app based job, and it supplements my income and it gives me that flexibility. Last year, state lawmakers passed AB5. It redefined people working for companies like Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash and others as employees and not independent contractors, making them eligible for health care, sick time, vacation, and other employment benefits. The tech industry launched several lawsuits to block AB5 and refused to reclassify workers until the legal battle was settled, and now has placed Prop 22 on the ballot in hopes of overturning it altogether. Innovation does not equal exploitation. Mike Roth is a spokesperson for the No on Prop 22 campaign. He says the goal of the ballot measure is protecting the gig economy's business model and bottom line, and not its workers. Uber and Lyft are spending over $180 million on this dangerous and deceptive measure. Don't think for one second that's to help their workers. This is about their bottom line. According to the Secretary of State's office, more than $184 million has been spent on the Yes campaign. Uber's kicked in $50 million, Lyft 48, DoorDash 47, Instacart chipped in $28 million, and Postmates 11. That dwarfs the 10.7 million unions like the Teamsters, SEIU, United Healthcare Workers West, and United Food and Commercial Workers have raised to defeat the measure. The Yes on Prop 22 campaign says it sweetens the deal for independent contractors while allowing them to maintain the flexibility that fuels the gig economy. If they want the ability to remain independent contractors, they're able to choose when they want to work, for how long they want to work, where they want to work, uh, which apps they want to work for. Jeff Vetter, a spokesperson for the Yes campaign, says it offers a number of new benefits to gig workers, including a guarantee of pay 20% above the minimum wage in their area, compensation for wear and tear on their cars, and contributions to health care if they work on average 15 to 25 hours a week. But some disillusioned drivers say it's not nearly enough, that under Prop 22 they'll struggle to eke out a living, while the companies rake in millions. Don't matter how it affects me, Lyft and Uber earn everything they earn from exploiting their workers. Once again, if Prop 22 passes, it will be virtually impossible to overturn or amend in any way. Prop 22 says that the California legislature would have to have a 7th, 8th majority, 87.5%, to make any changes at all. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.